Welcome, race fans, to episode 24 of Translated's Adventure Around the World in the Ocean Globe Race. My name is Paul Kayard, here from a rainy San Francisco this week. Well, it was quite a weekend for the teams battling through the doldrums, but they're out now, and they're in the northeasterly winds of the Azores High, making good progress up the Atlantic Ocean. We'll take a look at the tracker and see how they got to where they are over the past week, and then we'll look at the router and see what's in store for them for the week coming up. I backed the tracker up to March 20th, about eight days ago, to take a look at the progress the fleet made in the last week. Here we see Esprit de Keep and uh, Penduik leading the pack by 250 miles. A beam of Recife, uh, all everybody enjoying the South Atlantic Easterlies, trade winds we call them. And then as the lead boats got to the doldrums at the equator, there was compression of the fleet. And this is probably about as close as everybody got um, as the tail enders enjoyed the Easterlies and piled in from behind. I had hoped that uh, being a little more westerly over here translated might find a thinner uh, gap in the in the doldrums and the light air of the doldrums, but that didn't really pan out. Uh, the first boats in were the first boats out. It was all pretty straightforward, and in fact, as Penduik and Esprit got out to the steadier winds of the Azores high they stretched back out into the lead. Um, Penduik is uh, starting to really stretch her legs, being the big long boat in this sort of stability sailing upwind. They have northeasterlies. Esprit keeps going a little slower than translated in Spirit of Helsinki. Uh, it's a smaller boat and you know all the boats are just slogging along upwind in these northeasterlies. So, that's what's happened in the last week, and for the next few days, things are gonna be, I think, fairly straightforward, although we'll take a look at that in the router next. So I have our starting position here, translated's position today, uh, midnight on the 28th, finishing here in Cowes, England. Um, we're done with the equator and the doldrums, so right now we're feeling the Northeasterlies of the Azores High. The Azores are right here. Uh, there's a high pressure bubble here, which I think is going to get a little bigger. But for the next few days, it's pretty straightforward sailing. It's a little rough. Uh, it's still warm. They're bouncing up and down because there's a pretty big seaway here. This is 15, 18 knots of wind, but they're going into the wind basically um, as they head north. And uh, this is the 29th, uh, Saturday the 30th. And these, what we have up here in the North Atlantic are the, um, the lows that tend to come across in the fronts. Um, this is some counterclockwise rotation around this low pressure. And they'll be looking to hook into one of those a little later. Uh, here's this high pressure bubble that has kind of grown uh, this is on Monday, the 1st of April. Maybe it's an April Fool's joke, but they're going to have to deal with this, which will slow them down a little bit after uh, four or five days of pretty straightforward sailing again in the Azores high uh, trade winds. This is the second, so it looks like it's, a, and this is even the third. So this might be a two or three day ordeal getting through that high pressure bubble before they hook into this next low um, and the, the low is actually going to be a little ahead of them so they're probably going to get rolled over by that these six lines again remember are six different forecast models we have the european model the uk model the american model and a couple of permutations of it so that's why there's some slight differences here pretty much all of them run through the azores islands this one is thinks that the boats can get through on a little straighter course. Um, 
I think it's more common that boats go over the top of the Azores, but anyway, this is April 5th, so now we're starting to get out there a little bit on the uh, reliability of this, but um, just moving along here on the 7th, uh, you can see again the regularity of these low pressure systems that roll across the North Atlantic. This one's going to line up pretty well for them to catch quite a lot of breeze. Um, and really this is the one that's going to bring them home uh, for whatever it's worth. It says that they will arrive on the 12th of April in Cowes, England, so about two weeks from now. So that's a wrap on episode 24. Uh, our team is in fourth place in line honors, but only 17 hours off the lead in terms of IRC. Esprit de Keep is leading IRC, but with 3,000 miles to go and two weeks of sailing, this is a winnable leg for Translated. Uh, it's been quite a journey around the world, so I'm sure the team is looking forward to the finish line in Cowes. Uh, but they still want to win this leg. Uh, if they can manage that, winning three out of the four legs will be quite an achievement in this Ocean Globe race. So as always, let's keep our thoughts with the team and let's believe in humans.